Uh, okay, everyone, uh, this is uh, an exercise here which involves uh, developing a uh, circular soffit, but the circular soffit has a splay on it. It's, in other words, not on, on, it's not on a horizontal plane. Uh, so here's one example here of a soffit, um, a stone soffit in brown there. Uh, that's over a window so this is the plan view of it this is actually the horizontal or sorry vertical section should the same view and you can see there's your splay from there to there and uh, the challenge here is we need to get the true shape of that splayed section of that soffit and you'll see the hidden detail actually coming up here now uh, just to show you one edge of the soffit and this is the, your typical sectional line as well of course there's all your titles so um that's just the exercise we have. That's that's the wall actually there, yeah. So in kind of a grey uh, pattern. So um, just to get you to think in terms of uh, what it is you're looking at here. If you think in terms of a cone, this is this blade curved section, and I've superimposed a green cone as it were here, turned upside down or inverted as it were, from the typical way you'd look at a cone. So this is an, an upside down or inverted cone and there's the tip of the cone and this is you can see the curved edge of the cone following the semicircular plan of the cone. So you can see that there in green. So I've superimposed a cone so you can think, you know, if you were developing the surface of a cone, you know, what way would you develop it, you know? Um you know, usually you put the point of your compass there and you'll oops, put the pencil down there and you strike a curve along here and the inner part, in this case, along here, you'll strike another curve and you're opening out the surface of the cone then when you do that. So that's that's typically what's happening. So um, uh, I'm just I'm going to show you a plan view here of that same cone. And here it is in green. So this from a plan view perspective, this is us here. Uh, and there's the center of the cone again. And... Uh, in uh, shade and green is the uh, cone um, that you would be developing a portion of. You're only developing a portion of the cone, really. But uh, think, some, think of it in terms of a cone. If you've opened up the true shape of a cone, uh, that's what in effect is what you're doing, uh, but you're only opening up a portion of it. So um, just moving forward into this animation here now. So the first step is um, you're going to uh, take the plan view here and you're going to step this into divisions. So in our case, we're just going to go four divisions. From here you can strike a 45 degree line which will come about there then it'll give you the one point and from there to there then we're going to divide and you get another point on the curve. So that's going to play out here now. So um, you can use your set square there for um, point number two. Yeah, point number two would be a 45 degree line from here. And then from here to here then you just bisect that to get that central point. And... Uh, so you saw the line coming down there, then that gives you the point of the cone and you're going to strike you're going to strike that arc there, using that as the centre. And then you're going to use those same steps from there to there, that same step along the this new curve that you struck in blue. And uh, when you uh, when you come to point four, you're halfway around because that's what you are when you're here. This is halfway around here, so as I said this is also halfway around here that's the same point on the plan view and I didn't continue the whole way around because it's it's the same steps all the way around here and this will be step number eight so right there so once you get to this point here if you put the point of your compass there and stretch stretch it form an arc there and pull that arc over here wherever you cut here that's the other end yeah as I said because four is exactly halfway around so there's no point stepping the rest of the way you can step them if you like until you get to point eight you can do that if you want and then um, you know uh, strike a line then from point number eight into this point here then when you get to point number eight so there's the curve coming out as I just said and there's point number eight so swing that into there then and uh, that's the outer edge and here's the inner edge for the true shape being opened up there and there is the true shape of your um, of the surface of that um, canopy that's uh, shown there in front of you. So, um, yeah, that's it. Hopefully that's of use to you. All right.